What's going on? Thanks for joining me today for another little adventure here. Today we're going to talk about the workout split that I do throughout the week. Uh, like I mentioned in a previous video, I'm on a six day a week workout routine, I guess. And uh, we're going to discuss that today. But first, we're going to open up a couple new packages that I got in the mail from wonderful Amazon yesterday. Didn't think I was going to need a knife for this, but Let's just dive into it and try not to rip the package. So I've been trying out a bunch of different tank tops lately, trying to find ones that I like the fit for at the gym as well as the material. Uh, this one right away I'm feeling like it might be a little bit too uh, spandexy. I think. Uh, this one's like 60% polyester or something like that. So we'll try that out uh, later on at the gym, see if we can find one that we actually like. Um, it's hard to find a good fit and fabric combo that I like. But then we're also going to try out this new package here. Should be some new pre-workout. Uh, pre we're kicking it old school throwback to the high school football workout days. <laughs> uh, for me at least. Uh, we're going to try out the no explode today and hit the gym for a nice weekend leg workout. What a beautiful day. How warm is it? It's only 32 degrees out right now, but it looks like and feels like it would be much warmer. So a nice part about my weekend workout routine is that they're very flexible as far as what time we go to the gym. Uh, weekdays, we're normally going 5 a.m. So uh, on the weekends, we kind of get to relax a little bit and fit it in wherever it feels right. So I think here uh, in about an hour or so, I'm gonna meet up with Spencer in Sydney and hit the gym and then we'll talk a little bit more about our workout split for the week. Well, now I'm pissed. I was so excited, had all my brand new pre-workout, had the no explode mixed up on the counter, ready to go, ready to hit the gym, excited, had some lunch, all that, packed my bags, grabbed my shit, forgot the damn pre-workout sitting on the counter. So I guess that means I'm doing leg day today without my new pre-workout, which is very unfortunate. Luckily I have an extra water bottle in the truck, so at least I have that, but I hate when I freaking forget my pre-workout. Damn it. So now's the part where we dive into my weekly workout breakdown and what types of different exercises I'm doing different days of the week and what that structure sort of looks like. If you're kind of new to the weight room or you don't know too much about it, uh, I first want to start off by saying there are a ton of different ways to do workouts depending on what your goals are, you know, what you're trying to achieve and all kinds of different ways, different approaches to different things. So there's a lot of different opinions out there about it, but this is the way I've been doing it lately. And my goal in the gym has been to build muscle lately and try to reduce my body fat percentage a little bit. So this is more of a strength based program that I've started to formulate over the past several months. And this past week, I've gotten a lot more detailed with a breakdown of this. And I will try to provide a detailed breakdown of my workout for the week in the video description. I'll try to make up a little document for that. So you can go into more detail if you want, or feel free to ask me some questions down in the comments below. 
So to kick things off, we are working on a six day a week program right now for myself. Uh, and this includes a three different sets of three different muscle categories, I guess you might want to call them. So the way I'm breaking this down is we're going to do uh, three groups called push, pull and legs. And essentially, if you're not familiar with what that means, anything in the push category is going to be, you know, like chest exercises or tricep exercises where you're pushing away from your body. So anywhere where you're pushing weight away from you. Uh, and then similar to that, but obviously in the opposite direction is the pull days, which is gonna be where you're pulling things towards you. Um, so things like bicep curls and stuff along that line. And then of course, a third category is pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna be doing leg days. Now, <clears throat> as I mentioned, this is a six day a week program. So I've split these up to try to target specific muscle groups a little bit more focused two times throughout the day. I wanna target each one of these categories. So. We're starting out in a pattern here going push, pull, legs, push, pull, legs as we go through the week. So starting out on Monday, this past week, I did a push day, focus more on the chest. Uh, and that way we're kind of targeting that one specific area. And then on Thursday, we're gonna do another push day, but that's gonna be more for, focused on the shoulder area. So uh, we're doing, two different push days throughout the week, but focusing on those two different categories. So Monday is gonna be a push day focused on chest. Tuesday, then we jump to a pull exercise day. So we're doing more of a lat focus, you know, on your uh, the sides of your back and things like that, uh, more a little bit on the lower back. Uh, and like I said, I will do a breakdown of the exercises that we're doing on each of these days in a separate video in a little bit more detail coming up here soon but we're doing that as a pull day on the second day and then we're going leg day on the third day. So uh, hamstring focused leg day is gonna be on Wednesday and then we're starting over from the push again. So like I said, push, pull, legs. So we're doing a push day, chest focused, then a pull day, lat focused. Then we're going into leg day, that's hamstring focused. And then on Thursday, we're going back to push day, but now we're focusing on the shoulders, more the upper uh, areas there. Of course, we're getting some uh, the accessory workouts in, so we're making sure we're still doing some triceps along with that. Um, and the Friday then becomes a pull day for more of the upper back, uh, the traps area, um, focusing on that as well as some curls and things for the biceps as well, making sure we're getting those included in there. And then Saturday, becomes a quad focus leg day. And that's what we did for today's workout. And man, was it uh, quite a bit more intense than I was expecting, especially since I forgot my pre-workout at home, but it was a good one for sure. One of my favorite exercises to do is probably the leg press. And that happens on these quad focus leg days. So hopefully this breakdown is somewhat helpful for you or gives you a little bit of insight on what I'm doing to try to gain some muscle mass as well as hopefully reduce some body fat percentage. Like I said, this is a bit more strength focused training. So if you're trying to do something like weight loss or other things like that, this might not necessarily be the right plan for you. There's a lot of different types of workouts and different things that you need to try in order to get the goals that you're looking for. And that's the biggest thing for me and uh, for probably you as well is you have to be willing to experiment with different types of workouts that might have a different uh, desired outcome. So this week for me, this is the workout breakdown I'm doing. We're doing push, pull legs, push, pull legs, six days a week, hitting the gym. And so far I've definitely seen some positive results in this and it's been a very fun breakdown for me. Targeting these specific muscle groups on two different days of the week has been a much bigger improvement than I initially realized. I've noticed a lot more targeted uh, soreness, I guess, in the areas that I'm focusing on, which is good. That means that I'm getting a deeper focus into the areas that I'm trying to grow those muscles in. So uh, this has been helpful for me. Maybe it'll be helpful for you as well if you're trying to go to the gym. And you could also modify this so that maybe you're only doing three of these a week. You're only doing push, pull, and legs uh, once a week. Uh, and you can, you know, alternate those different targeted muscle groups maybe every other week. So maybe one week you'll do chest, lats, and hamstrings. And the next week you'll do shoulders, uh, traps, and quads. So maybe you could alter this a little bit if it sounds like something that might be helpful for you if you're trying to build some muscle 
or uh, you know get a little bit more strength in some of these specified areas rather than just doing a full body workout every single day isn't necessarily the best way to target those groups of muscles in order to grow them a little bit stronger and a little bit bigger because that's what we're trying to get after here. If you at all found this helpful or enjoyable, please do hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel because we're going to be doing a lot more fitness-based stuff coming up here real soon and I don't want you to miss out.